my name is Jeremias and this is Hannah. We have a small lifestyle company and dog mushing company called Northern Soul Journeys. And this is the rest of the interview. <laughs> In the springtime when everything melts, <clears throat> all that bacteria in the poop is still gonna be there. So we try our hardest to pick up all the poop to avoid yuckiness, let's say. Every day, I guess, no matter the time of year, is gonna revolve around the basic chores of the dogs. Cause no matter what's going on, the dogs need to be fed, the dogs need to be cleaned and cared for. Uh, so usually we wake up anywhere between six and seven yep. and we'll come have a cup of coffee and a pot of coffee, a pot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go out to the dogs anywhere from seven to eight o'clock and feed and clean and prepare the meal for the dogs for later that evening. Then we come in, we rest a little bit, have some breakfast. And if there's any like bread that needs to be baked, we usually bake yeah. it before we go out. Yeah. Uh, get a lot of those chores done. Take care of the chickens as yeah. well, fill up their water, fill up their food. And also if we have the luxury just to sit down and enjoy the morning. Like yeah. the, the, the quietness of living the way we do and enjoying what we do. Yeah. It's just as important. So we had uh, puppies about a week ago uh, and she gave birth to eight. This is Thelma. She gave birth to eight puppies. Unfortunately, one passed away after two days. Uh, it wasn't strong enough. It didn't retain any of the food it, it was eating and it couldn't keep warm no matter what we were trying to help it out with. So unfortunately, one passed, but we have seven healthy puppies left and we keep weighing them every day to make sure that they're gaining weight. 384, wow. I don't know, it goes up to... It goes up to that. And you said purple was... Lime. Lime green. For me, the most challenging thing is the fact that it's very emotional. So if things go wrong, or if a dog is injured, or if it, a dog dies, um, or when a dog dies, I should say, uh, it's very, very emotional. Um, and uh, that's really hard. Mm -hmm. What I love most about having the dogs is uh, having an animal that works. Um, I really like this sort of symbiotic relationship where we're giving each other something um, rather than just it being sort of, yeah, an animal that has no quote unquote purpose. You wanna make it a little bit wider so we can actually be around it? No? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
All right, so we are out on our trail with two teams of doggies and we're stopped on the side of the trail to have a little fire and some tea and we're just really enjoying being outside. Um, I mean, it's, it is, what? It is Wednesday after all. It's only <laughs> Wednesday one time per week. Yeah. It is Wednesday. This right? is this is actually it's actually kind of weird when you think about like this is our job. Hey! Rosa! 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 Relax yourself. Rosa! You're making quite a fuss. Just need to double check so it actually is actually good. It's hot enough for sure. So what I enjoy the most with uh, driving dogs or having dogs is the teamwork you need to have with with your dogs to make sure that each and every individual and yourself is excelling in what you're doing. But you need to have a very strong bond with them um, to to make sure that everyone is doing okay and having fun. So you need to have the bond and spend the time and put the hours in and it's very rewarding when you're doing all the work and you're feeling like you're doing it as a team when you can go out for 40 or 50 kilometers and it's not an effort you can go out camping you can go out to the mountain you can go all you can do all of these things together as a unit So we gave our dogs a mix of uh, dry food and meat, often in soup uh, form, in the mornings and evenings to make sure that they get enough water during the day. And also during the, in the middle of the day they get a meat snack or a soup if they need it, depending on the temperature and the activity level. So we gave them roughly five tons of food per year in both meat and uh, uh, dry food combined. But it's I don't, I don't know exactly how many calories they have. Uh, we have on the computer, we have extensive Excel and Google Sheets on the, all the data. And we've calculated out the, the amount of food that we need to give them every day. But I don't know the, the calories of that count in my head. But it is a few thousand calories per day that they need to maintain their body temperature and functioning uh, as they should function and be healthy. Show the training thing as well. Oh yeah, I can show you the training chart. I don't know, I don't wanna, I don't know if I wanna show it. Cause I don't like what the kilometers look like. They're not enough to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have all the dates up here and then uh, it adds it up here. So, and I actually have it frozen in this spot so that I can see no matter where I am in the month. And then I have it divided by month. And then mm -hmm. I have a total running so it keeps it added up and then i've got it the total year here and then so yeah it's a really useful tool to keep track of everything oh wow this become came proper mutated that's nice yeah did you put a balloon in it no i just shoved a little bit of the extra dough 
because I, I didn't like cut it super evenly. Look at this thing I'm doing. What was this one? Whole wheat. Full whole wheat? Yeah. So did you, when you made these two special ones? Yeah. We, we bake all of our own bread. So, but we try and do it in larger batches so we don't have to do it every day. Um, and uh, if we have a lot of tours, then preparing soup for the tours because we make all of that ourselves. Yeah. Um, a lot we of stuff bake is done. All the bread ourselves. Yeah, we bake all the bread ourselves for the tours. A lot of stuff is done in the autumn as well to prepare for the winter season. Mm. So like we make all of our own juice and all of our own jam. And like autumn, the autumn period is very much like a harvesting period. So we're spending a lot of time, or I'm spending a lot of time doing that, those kinds of things. about 15 to 20 centimeters of water on top of the ice and then snow on top of that that is like a giant slushy that you don't want to get stuck in but we did so I need to loosen up and free or free all the areas of the snowmobile that could get caught and press down the snow on top and build up and get it stuck again so I'm just taking away the snow under under the runners and under the engine of the snowmobile and then we'll see if we can get up or not. Or not. <laughs> Try and uh, when we get there, you tip them on the side and try and get as much off as possible first. I got some extra weights in my boots. Ankle weights. Hello, I'm still getting you. That's really good. Warwick. Thank you. Food. I don't know, there's this sort of like ebb and flow of everything. Mm -hmm. Not to sound too like, you know, hippy dippy or whatever, <laughs> but like I really like being connected to the land. And I feel like when you're you're not trying to fight the land all the time, you're not trying to fight the elements, but instead you're trying to work with them, you have you can get this sort of really great appreciation for 
yeah, like all the work you put into it and, and, and the different what you can seasons get out of it. and what yeah. they can what they offer what and, they offer to you and and how you can take those what what it offers and utilize it to live in the area that you are in so yeah. be, be be completely embedded in in your little local surrounding whatever that might be it's for us it's more of a, a uh, appreciation for where we live and the possibility to do the things that we do we, we've talked about our future um, every now and then and we are sort of Nothing is ever set in stone. Um, we don't see ourselves ever not having dogs. At the moment, at we the can't moment, not yeah, having not them. at all. And we do not want to grow bigger. No. That's not in, in necessarily our nature to sort of chase that higher number. In, in in that way, we our goal is our holistic goal of what we do is to be able to spend time at home together with our dogs, being out in the forest being out on the water, paddling, hiking, hunting, fishing, like all the things like that we really appreciate and, and connects us to the region that we're in and to the land. That's, that's our future goal.